Hey guys, it's Sam, back again with the Blind Spot. Today we are doing another Windows 10 tutorial. I thought we would go ahead and make a series out of these videos. I've spoken with some people recently, my sister being the main one, and she had said that she doesn't like to use her computer. She uses it very rarely, and she much prefers using her cell phone. Uh, because it's easier and yeah I, I get that it is easy to use your phone especially if you have a magnifier or a CCTV you can put it under but that just blows me away she says she doesn't use her computer I'm on my computer all the time I love it and I think I love it so much because I have tweaked it and changed the settings and made it so much easier for me to use and uh, so that's what I want to try and help you guys with so that's why I'm making these videos, showing you what I've done to make it much easier to use my computer. Hopefully you guys are going to learn something. So that is what we're doing today. Today we are going to talk about making these icons bigger and also making the text on your screen bigger. And not only the text, but basically everything. Making everything bigger, easier to see. So that's what we're going to do. Hang out. We'll be right back. Okay, so first things first, we're going to try and make these icons easier to see, and that is super easy. You just right click on your desktop, you select view, and over here you have, you can do large icons, which I guess that's what I have already. You can do the medium, this is a lot smaller, uh, that's, that's kind of a jump if it's just medium. And then small is tiny. Oh my gosh, where'd they go? They're gone. They've disappeared. <laughs> are so small uh, and then of course sort you can choose how it's sorted uh, by date file size uh, the name item type so let's put those back on large that's the way I like to do it this is how your desktop will probably come right out of the gate uh, you can see how big the start menu is if I come over here the notification shade that pops up you can see how big that is in uh, relation to everything else it's not too bad. Um, you can see how big my little window is here. Now, as I said before, I'm on a 32 inch monitor and it's basically just an LED TV that I've got connected HDMI and uh, it works great. I recommend getting a big monitor. Um, that's probably number one for being able to use your computer better. So these are pretty big on my monitor to begin with, but we can do even better. Of course, number two, maybe number one, is you've got to use your magnifier. I could not, there's no way I could use the computer here without my magnifier to be able to read. If I wanted to read these things, this is how big I have to get in to read. Magnifier just makes it so much easier. But let's try and help things out by making the text bigger. What you're going to want to do is go into your start menu and go down to settings. It's going to bring up your settings window here. We're going to go to system and it's already on display. That's what we want. Now let's go down here to advanced display settings. If we can click on it, there we go. Now down here at the bottom, let's zoom in so we can all see it together. Uh, you've got color calibration. You can calibrate the color of your display. That's good. Um, clear type text. I'll go over that in another video. The one that we want to look at here is advanced sizing of text and other items. So we'll click on that and we'll bring up this window here. Now right down here, change only the text size. That's what we want. Now mine is grayed out and I cannot access it. And uh, in my research, my Googling, I've um, I think it's because the screen resolution of my monitor doesn't allow me to change it. So this might work for you guys and uh, it might not. If it does, then you can just choose what you want to change the text size and you can choose the size here. You can make it bold if you want. And then whenever you're done, just click apply. Now we're going to go back to the display settings. And this is what we want to adjust right here. Change the size of text apps and other items. Now right now it's at 100% and that says recommended but we can play around with that. Just pull the slider down here 
and we go 125, uh, what else do we have, 150, 175, so on and so forth. Let's try 125, and I think that's going to be good for me. Now, whenever I click apply, it's going to ask me to sign out. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that, and then we will be right back to see the difference. Okay, and we are back. So, right away, you can tell the icons are much bigger. Uh, they're still set to large, but the screen has shrunk, and everything has gotten bigger. Um, in fact, you see up here my clock. I haven't moved it yet. Um, whenever I zoom in like this, I have to readjust the clock. So, just, if I can grab it, just pull that on over here. And that gives you a good idea of how much the screen has changed. The wallpaper readjusts itself. Um, our icons, some of them are a little wonky, so let's go ahead and sort them out here. There we go, that's better. Um, now, we maybe don't need the large. Let's check the medium. Well, we'll go back to large. I, I like the large. But you see now how much bigger this window is. Um, check out my start menu. Look how much bigger that is. Let's go down here. Notification shade. See how much bigger that is. So this is great for enlarging everything on your computer screen. So there you go, guys. That was, real quickly, how you can enlarge everything on your, your screen here to make it much easier to see. Oh, one more real quick thing. I wanted to show this. Somebody had a question about the window animations. And what I mean by that is when I click on this, you'll see the next window will kind of fade in and zoom in a little bit. Zoom, how it zooms in like that. Uh, that's one of the window animations. They're very subtle, but they are there. This gentleman said that sometimes the animations cause lag on his when he zoomed in here real closely. And he was asking about a theme that doesn't have the animations. But I wanted to show that down here in the ease of access setting in other options, the very first one is play animations in window. So you can turn that off and then now when I uh, go back and then go back in, it just pops right in. It doesn't do the little animation. I'm going to turn mine back on because I'm a sucker for the eye candy like that. But uh, there you go. So you can turn the animations off. Well, all right, guys, that is it for me. This is Sam with the Windows 10 blind spot. <laughs> Uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Leave them down in the comments. I'll do whatever I can to answer those questions. If I don't know them, I will Google the heck out of them and uh, figure out the answers best of my ability and Google's ability. I might even delve into Bing. I don't know. Um, Cortana. We're going to do a, a, a video on Cortana, and she keeps sending me to Bing, and I don't know how happy I am about that, but... You know, it is what it is. So anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. This is Sam with The Blind Spot. I will see you next time.